Welcome to the next installment of the Dusty Survival Series on FS22. In this episode we finally have a quiet month after all of our selling and building and new production chains. We do a little bit of felling to make sure the sawmill is fed with wood. We fuel up the brewery and Dusty cracks open his first beer. Well, what a lovely morning here in the town of Erlengrat. Lovely sunny morning, April, sunshine for the best part of the day with a bit of rain later on, which would be great for our crops. Let's have a quick time check, 5.48 in the morning with 50 G's in the bank. So I'm just stepping around here to have a quick look at what's going on in terms of the sheep. So yes, we're already starting to generate some wool at quite a pace, which is fantastic. I think at some point later on, we'll get that down to the spinnery. Let's have a quick look at the old sheep, guys. How are you doing? Let's just undo this gate. We'll close that behind ourselves. Make sure none of the, none of the sheep escape. Hello, mate. Come over to say good morning. Yeah, everyone seems to be very happy. Straw on the ground is all fresh. Don't need to worry about that. Yes, look at them. Very happy. And this is the best part of the day, I think. Crisp morning weather. Sunshine bursting over the uh, mountain tops there. Fantastic. We'll have a quick check of the chickens. And see how those guys are getting on. Ah, oh, we've got some eggs underway. Good, so that's starting to generate eggs already. Definitely quicker than before, as you'd expect. We've still got some over there, which we'll, uh, we'll deal with when we get rid of the eggs at the end of the season. And yeah, the chickens are fine. Very good. Right, I'm going to walk through here and just go out the back. Make sure none of the cuppies follow me. And stay there. The one thing I am going to do at some point is actually just this very small area here. I'm going to fence off and then I can leave the doors open and if the chickens want to come out and have a little bit of a rummage around outside and a scratch around in the fresh air then they absolutely can do. It's only a small nominal space but it's just enough. That's something I might have a look at shortly. Good morning Dusty, are you coming out to play today? Yeah, I just finished in the washing up. Had myself some nice fresh eggs this morning. Oh, that sounds beautiful. I've just had a bit of toast. I've got to have my coffee, and I'll be straight out and we can get on with the day. Okay, Dusty, right, I'll see you out here shortly. Well, that ain't a bad morning. The sheep look happy. How are the chickens looking, computer guy? Yeah, they look all right, Dusty. Everyone's happy. I was just telling the viewers that I think I might put an extra little piece of kind of outdoor space pasture at the back of the uh, chicken barn. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Even just a small space will give them the chance to get a bit of fresh air if they choose. All for the animal welfare here? Yeah, absolutely. So what's your plan first off then, Dusty? Well, I want to get some water down at the brewery. We ain't got no wheat, no barley down there, but we can get the water in ready ahead of time. Yeah, I am wondering whether or not our little Bowser here is going to be enough. Maybe we just got to keep our eyes open for a new Bowser if one comes up on the sails. That reminds me, we need to stick some more water in the stone crush as well. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, I think it's got a tiny bit of uh, stones in it, but it does need more water. Well, I got a full tank on now. Let me go fill that up while I'm here. Ah, yeah, good job, Dusty. That's just going to finish that last little bit of lime, and that will get sold.
Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we have a water tower. We added a water tower and a couple of major lights up here at the end of last month. We know that we're going to need water, so we drilled and we tapped in and we are all good to go. Slowly filling up there, 75, 80%. Then Dusky can get that straight over to the brewery. And there we go. So that should be going in there nicely. Let's have a quick look at the old menu. We'll have a quick jump down to our production chain at the bottom, beer production, and yes, water is going in. We've got some strawberries. We distributed some just to give it a go, although I do feel that actually the price of strawberry beer against actually what you put into it. So let's have a look at that uh, down here. We're adding water, barley, no, sorry, wheat, and then strawberries for 15 bottles. Actually, in terms of the other productions, you get 15 bottles out for much the same, if not less, produce. And I just wonder if it's really that lucrative. But we'll give it a go. It might be a good seller down at the bar. The other thing I wanted to perhaps try today is maybe just buy, this sounds ridiculous, I know, but buy some wheat or barley, stick it in here, and just get things going. We want to have a bit of a dry run, a bit of a practice run. And if we do the first small batch and it comes out bad, at least we'll get the process nailed between myself, Dusty, and the team of staff up here. So I think that's a good way to get going. We might go and pick up a, uh, a big bulk bag of wheat or barley later on. Well, that's me, Don. How much we got in there, computer guy? Uh, just a meagre 7,299. You're going to have to do, I don't know, I estimate probably 13, 14 trips with that Bowser. Oh, hell. That's going to take forever. I will keep my eyes open for a new Bowser, though, because it's going to make life easier. Not only that, if we're going to have to keep moving it from down here to up at the homestead anyway to feed our greenhouses, then perhaps we need a second one all the same. Equally, we do need something to put water into the stone crusher, so water all of a sudden has become a major part of our operations. Yeah, you got that right. Okay, I stuck in about 35,000 litres of water here. That should be more than enough to get the guys going. Thanks, Dusty. How many trips was that? Well, it was about five. Holds about 7,000 litres in this Bowser here. Okay, cool. Right, next job. The lime is selling. We've got whoa, 1,100 litres of lime there. That's fine. There's a bit of water left, but there's no stone. So we can just leave that now in terms of lime. Clothes, obviously, it's got no fabric. And the reason it's got no fabric is because the spinnery has no wool. So I think we do need to go and grab those couple part pallets and bring them down just to keep things going. And in terms of wood, we have got wood still going on in the sawmill. Not a huge amount, but enough. We are storing unbelievable amounts of planks. And if I head back down to the uh, carpentry there, Again, we've got wood in there and they have more than enough planks. But I think what we might do at some point is chop up some trees. We've felled about four or five at the end of last month. So I think we can go and get those trees at some point, bring them down and just make sure that the, uh, the sawmill is fed and happy for the long term. Uh, Dusty's just parking the Bowser back up in its little spot. I actually noticed there's some honey there, which would make sense moving into the barn at some point later on. But for now, I think we will go and get the, uh, the trailer and then we can fill up with the wall.
Well, it looks like Dusty decided to put on that crate of honey in the end, which kind of makes sense. He's going to head it over to the brewery. So we've got a kind of little test bed going on. We've got a little bit of uh, honey going in there. We've got a few strawberries already in there. We are a third or so filled with water. So as I said, if we just purchase a couple of bulk bags of wheat and stick that in there, let's just see what we can do on our small batch of beer you know a small test run just to get operations underway because when the big crops go in we really don't want to mess that up and there we go Dusty's just dropping off the wall here nice and quick it's a small amount but it will be just enough to keep things going and now we can head up to the brewery and drop off the honey while Dusty's doing that, I'm just going to have a pop in the shop and see what sales they've got on. Right, let's have a quick look down. Ah, that's, that's somewhat disappointing. So there's just a cultivator, which is, I think, no better than the one we've got. Three metres wide. The Horsch Tirano, yeah, it's not something we're interested in. I'm happy to go bigger. I don't see the point in uh, going for roughly something the same. So I'm keeping my eyes open for a tractor, definitely and maybe some useful bits of equipment that we can use in our expansion of operations here. I think, as I mentioned, a Bowser, a second one perhaps, a bigger one, is going to be useful. Okay, never mind, I'll uh, head back up and see Dusty. Looks like he's just waiting for the train to go. I thought he'd be up there by now, but I just happened to meet up with him in the street. whizzing past Dusty's threads here that's a great little operation that really is just carries on at its own pace right but here we are let's head over and get the honey unloaded easy job so there we are we've got a bit of water in there we have a tiny bit of honey an even smaller amount of strawberries I think next, let's go and pick up a couple of bolt bags, one of wheat, one of barley. Perhaps that'll do it. No, you know what? Let's just pick up two of barley. We don't want to find that we can't actually produce any beer because we haven't put enough in. Two bolt bags of barley coming right up. Well, there we go. Down at Klaus's store here, we've picked up two pallets of barley. We'll just get the guys to uh, forklift that on the back and then we'll head it back up to the brewery and see how we get on with our new production chain. Right, I want to get this strapped on quickly. The rain is coming in. Right, Dusty, you're good to go. Yeah, the rain is coming in and we don't want those uh, <laughs> those crates of barley to get wet. We didn't cover them up stupidly. That's a bit of a mistake, but I think we'll be okay. We're only going to be out on the road for not only three minutes, so all good. Well, we've got some real thunder up here today. They did say the weather was coming in and coming in fast, but I don't think it's going to stick around. Right, Dusty's just going to head over the pit here. And that should just filter off through. And there we go. Done. Quick look at the production chain. So we've got barley in there. Right, so let's go and have a look at... Let's just start some barley beer, shall we? Let's see how we get going. So we are running, excellent. Everything's set to storing. We won't distribute anything just yet. I just want to see the produce come out of the brewery. Computer guy, while I'm down this neck of the woods, I'm gonna go pick up the log trailer, which is down at the sawmill. I have to drop off this trailer here, but that's fine. That way I can go pick up those logs get them back down at the sawmill, pick up the trailer again and take it back to the homestead. Oh yeah, good thinking Dusty, I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, that sounds like a perfectly sensible idea. I thought so myself. Right, you coming along for the ride? Yeah, I might as well Dusty, I might as well.
this weather really is sticking around. But it shouldn't be uh, too much of a challenge to get the um, logs on the back here. I think Dusty needs to go and pick up the front loader on the strap though. Our meadow here isn't ready for a mow yet. The first kind of cut of the year normally comes in around May. The grass just hasn't started growing as yet. There you go, we can see the area here that we felled at the end of last month. Just a few, we're slowly trying to clear this away so we can expand this whole area for more grass. We are planting other trees around the homestead and you know around our new production chains as we go. So we're trying to keep up our bit for the planet and keep everything green. While Dusty's sat there in the cab, in the nice warm, he's told me that I've got to get out here with a chainsaw and chop these up. Don't think that's fair, but then again, to be fair, he does do an awful lot of work around the homestead, so I don't know. Right. a bit of a mission that um, the ground is we if you look the level that we're at here it's really awful and I cannot wait to get these trees out of the way because actually picking things up I mean look at the trailer the angle of that trailer we were struggling to uh, not slip and slide all the way down this hill but we're there now let's uh, get the straps on get that strapped as best we can and then Dusty can head this down to the sawmill and just make sure that we've got uh, wood in that operation. Okay, that looks good. Right. Well, I do think we've come an awful long way from that very first few episodes where Dusty was cutting down logs with his bare hands pretty much with a chainsaw chopping everything up into tiny little foot long pieces and chucking them in the back of his truck just to make ends meet we were making 500 a thousand dollar bucks a time yeah it was nothing back then and you think now we're operating with quarter of a million half a million dollar bucks every time we have a big sell which is twice a year now so we've got one around December, January, February time for all of our crops and all of our silage and then another one in the summer for things like flour and clothes and furniture. So yeah, time has rolled on and Dusty has increased his output and I think he's done really well for himself but just looking at this picture here with a massive trailer and a big tractor although it does feel like we've had this trailer for quite a while now it is a big move on from those early days. If you're new to the channel then by all means jump back and go and see those early episodes and just see how Dusty started out working the land with virtually nothing when he arrived. It's been an epic journey I must admit. We're almost there. We used to do this journey an awful lot in the early days, backwards and forwards with logs in the truck on the back of the flatbed trailer. But yes, we're here now. Right, I'll hop out and just get these delivered. And there we go, all done. So the sawmill is now sat at 52,000 lengths of wood. That's fine, we've got more than enough wood in there. That will keep going almost forever indefinitely. Brilliant work. My well, Dusty's grabbed the trailer. I think we're both just gonna head up back to the brewery now because we're both interested to see if anything's happening. Yeah, well, I really wanna see if we're producing any beer yet. I got a real thirst on. Yes, I know, Dusty, but we're not making it for you, are we? Oh, come on, computer guy. You and I gotta taste that first batch. 
It's like a rite of passage. Oh yeah, here we go, computer guy. We're in business here. Yeah, it certainly does look like it. Right, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. We got our first barley beer. Brilliant. Let's get some stats up on the screen here. Yes, water's good, barley's good, honey's good. And we are making barley beer. Right, I wonder what we should do with this. Do we want to just crack it open and drink it now or actually take it down to the pub? Well, we ain't got nearly enough to open the pub with. We gotta get ourselves some spirits and some soft drinks and mixes to go with it all anyway. So yeah, I don't think we're ready to open yet. So, uh, that pretty much leaves us with one conundrum. What do we do with this here? Well, I think I know what you're thinking, Dusty. I think you and I better crack open a crate and make sure this is the good stuff. All right, Dusty, I think it is time for a bit of a celebration. In which case, let's call it a day, head back up to the homestead and kick back. Yeah, I think we deserve a break. I really enjoyed that month, ladies and gentlemen. Nice and quiet after all the chaos of selling and buying and construction and getting into new production chains. The key thing to take away is that yes, we have a brewery and yes, we are making beer. Brilliant. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Please make sure to always give it a thumbs up and to share and to like and subscribe and do all that funky YouTube jazz. And that just makes me realize that people are interested in the content and it is all worthwhile. So until the next episode, take care and I'll see you soon.